In the previous video, regardless of whether it was the macOS or the Windows version you watched, we showed you how to install your driver software and the launcher software for your new Antelope audio interface. In this video, we're going to give you the grand tour of the Antelope Audio Launcher and show you how very useful and handy it is to you as a new Antelope Audio interface user. We're going to show you it on Mac OS, but it's exactly the same running under Windows. Let's start it up. And here it is. You can see that I have three different Antelope Audio interfaces connected on the same network, not necessarily on the same computer, but we'll come to that shortly. We're going to start along the top with these three tabs here. We have Devices, Plugins and System. Devices, as you would expect, is where you can see all the currently connected interface hardware, be that via USB and Thunderbolt locally, as in attached to the MacBook Pro I'm currently using, or across the network. Now that network can be Wi-Fi or hardwired. And in this case, the Goliath HD Gen 3 is actually on a different computer. It's on a PC that just happens to be attached to the same network. Now we're going to concentrate on this Orion Studio Synergy core in the middle, which is attached locally via Thunderbolt. First of all, under device, we see the serial number for this hardware unit. However, we could give it its own hardware name. It doesn't have to be the serial number. Under this, we have device info. This is, of course, the actual serial number for the unit, the hardware version, the firmware version, the control panel version, and the bundle version. We can also manage the bundle version, and we'll talk more about this shortly. The manage button, which we use to register the hardware or assign extra features. We can make sure the control panel runs automatically when we start the launcher. We can start the control panel from the button, or we can click on the hardware icon, both of which launch the control panel. The next tab over is plugins. This is where we find the VST, AU or AAX installers for any extra hardware or software we have attached to our account. In this case, I've got four different Antelope audio microphones and I have the AFX The Door software. Now it's worth noting at this stage that the AFX The Door plugin only works with Antelope Audio's Thunderbolt equipped audio interfaces. If you're connected via USB, this feature is not going to work for you. So here we have some options. We can uninstall the software if we wish to, or we can look at the bundle version. Now the bundle version is everything that that particular piece of hardware needs to work properly in your recording environment. The bundle could include firmware, software, or control panel attributes. Therefore, in this case, we can see that there is a new version of the bundle available for the Edge Duo. I can see the old one, I can see the current one, or I can see the new one. If I tick it and click update, it's going to update me to the latest version of that bundle for the Edge Duo microphone. It's going to tell me what it's installing and where, and I can click OK. And you can now see that I'm completely up to date with the software that supports the Antelope Audio Ranger microphones and the AFX The Door plugin. This is not to be confused with the AFX version of the microphone emulations that sits within particular versions of the Antelope Audio control panel, depending on which interface you have. The System tab is a very useful place to come to if you have any problems with your Antelope Audio recording setup. As we said before, the launcher allows us to see other hardware that is connected via our local area network, be that to other computers on our network or via different connectivity types. The manager server is the part of the launcher that allows us to see those other hardware units on our same network. This is a unique feature to the Antelope Audio launcher system and allows me, if I wish to, to remotely control hardware from different computers on the network. Sometimes, however, you may find that devices drop off your launcher. This could be due to a conflict between network ports or a large amount of network traffic. A very simple solution to this is to simply restart the manager server. Now, several times in this video, I've mentioned the concept of the bundle version. Think of a bundle version as a combination of the driver software, the firmware, and the control panel required for a particular device. 
It's a really neat way of making sure you're up to date with the control panel, firmware and any software drivers that you need without having to dive through the Antelope Audio support pages. It's all there in one bundle version. You can see previous bundle versions that I can go back to if I want to, but I'll stick with the latest version. Below the manager server is the driver section of the system tab. Now this is the only time that the launcher differs between Mac and Windows. This is a Mac OS based system, so it's showing the unified driver, combined USB and Thunderbolt driver. On the Windows version, which we're showing you now, you have separate Thunderbolt and USB drivers. There's a bundle version for all of these, so I can make sure I have the most up-to-date and most compatible driver for my system. Working our way along, we also have the user area where I can log in and out. And finally, we have our settings. Now these are global settings for the launcher. We're gonna start on the network side of this subsection, and I can scroll through and see network information about this computer and other devices that are connected or have been connected to this particular computer. Your list probably won't look as long or involved as this one. On the options side of settings, we first of all have a checkbox to disable animations. This means that launching the control panel will be slightly quicker and use slightly less system resources, but it really is negligible. We then have a tick box that indicates when ticked, we'll only be able to move control panels from the top bar of that control panel, rather than from anywhere in the GUI. We can view the log information for anything that's been connected to this launcher. And in the advanced tab, we can choose which elements of the bundle get updated, depending on if we choose if newer, always, or never. This is what you might call a power user feature, but it is something that was added at user request. In the next video in this series, we're gonna show you how to register your new Antelope Audio interface.